Mm, we're starting. Oh, no, we're not. Hi guys. I am Yuleen, the showrunner and creator of Kissing in the Rain. I'm Sinead. I'm in Kissing in the Rain. I play Audrey. She also co-wrote a bunch of episodes. Now we're going to answer some of your questions. Questions! Which we have collected via the Twitters and the Tumblers. And nobody loves us on Facebook, so yes. whatever, that's cool. Facebook stuff. Katie Louise asked on Twitter, will we be seeing more of Poe and Lenore, or just Poe? I'm not picky, they're just awesome. We think they're awesome too. And short answer, yes! We started with them, they were the originals. I mean, we haven't done that much, but they still were the originals. And we'll never truly say goodbye to them, I think. But we will say goodbye to Lenore's dress, which was pretty ruined. It was. On the set of Kissing. It was. Can we say that? Is that On allowed? the set of Kissing in the Rain. Yeah. I'm gonna just be Lenore for a hot tag and be like, hey guys. So, my dress got kind of ruined in Salem, Massachusetts, but I'm gonna go shopping with my girlfriends this weekend and we have some amazing things to model for you, so don't worry. <laughs> Lenore totally doesn't drink tea. She's like a cran vodka girl. I don't know when she became a total party girl. She's not. But when she shacked up with Lydia Bennett, aka Annabelle Lee. Why is MK so lovely and awesome? From SJ. She is lovely and awesome. We don't yeah. know why, but we're glad she is. Mm -hmm. James asked, do Sean or Sinead, or really anybody, hey, I'm anybody <laughs> have any major mainstream projects that they're working on besides Shipwrecked? Well, my brother, Sean, is a much more accomplished actor than I. He's always doing plays and little things on TV. I'm kind of new to this whole thing, so maybe by next year I'll have some fun big projects, but right now we kind of started Shipwrecked as our project. Yeah. This so is that's kind of what we want to be doing right now. Exactly. So if anybody would like to bring us on to some more major mainstream yeah, projects, we're down. we're down. We're here for hire. Mm -hmm. If you like our work, hit us up. I do have a lot of writing projects that I do. I like to write things. I really um, do. And I, as a writer, director, filmmaker lady, I have other projects that are nowhere near mainstream. You guys are my mainstream, but I have other like short films and things that you can see on my other channel. Nessa, who is our friend, the showrunner at the Autobiography of Jane Eyre, um, asks, what kind of copy and or magic does Yulene Kwong use to be so productive? Well, NASA, I don't really drink coffee on the regular. Right now we're drinking tea, which we think Jane would approve of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty much I have a sickness in which I cannot not be making things for too long. Otherwise, the dark corners of my mind start encroaching and I have to be alone with my thoughts and oh to be an artist. It's not good. So I like to keep busy with micro projects and then big projects and then micro projects in between. And it's all it yeah, it's how I do. Also I didn't go to film school so this I consider this my education. Also dark magic. She uses dark magic. She has a dark one. It's hidden in a place. Oh I drink soda. I drink lots of soda. It's weird. Oh, no, who drinks soda anymore? Isn't I everybody soda. like gluten sugar free? Cucumber soda? Actually, amazing. Butterbeer? Butterbeer is my favorite. Jennifer on Twitter has asked, how does one become part of your beautiful cast forever? How does one become part of our beautiful cast forever? Well, you could be a creator. You could be in the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. You could be a friend of Yuleen's from college. And that's kind of the extent of it so far. We haven't really had any open casting calls for anything. I mean, we've only casted two non-Persaud roles on this. And there is a third Persaud out there, so you guys know, so. There is. She doesn't act though. She models. In the future, if we do expand our casts, I am very lazy and don't like recasting, so <laughs> we'll probably keep you if you come on board and we like you. This is a question that we've gotten on Twitter and Tumblr a lot. Are we going to VidCon? Are we? Well, you know what? Here is my plea. Mom, can I go to VidCon for my birthday? It's like right around my birthday and I just really like to go, so... And so yeah, I guess I am going. I am also going to VidCon, uh, purchased my ticket a while back, and we just need to convince Sean to go to VidCon so we can all have one giant VidCon party and see your faces in Anaheim and give you guys all the hugs that we can't give right, 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 right now. Yourself. So come to VidCon. We'll we'll be there. I'm interested to see what it's all about. 
I went last year. It was awesome. John Green cried at one of the panels. Mary Kay Wiles was there, and I was like, <laughs> hi. That's not going in there. Nope. <laughs> nope. Questions from Tumblr. Clavissa, we love you, Clavissa. Clavissa. Can we just say that? She's the one that like first aggressively promoted us on Tumblr without ask us mm -hmm. asking. We just that. appreciate it. We do. Can you talk about the eras and fashion inspirations for your costumes? Also, why are you called shipwrecked? Does it have to do with shipping people? Smiley face. A lot of the ones for Kissing in the Rain were actually characters that already are existent in literature or they have kind of archetypes in film that I was alluding to or they already are just people that you might recognize like Poe. And then also there's a costume warehouse in North Hollywood that was very helpful. They like order their wardrobe chronologically from time periods which is how I want to order my wardrobe. You can walk in in the 1800s and then just walk all the way back into the 3000s. It's great. Why are we called <laughs> shipwrecks? So, fun story. Sinead gets to tell this one. Originally, we were not shipwrecked. We were a name that I just randomly had in mind. Kind of sketchy. But then the plot thickens. One night, when we were in pre-production for Poe, we decided, kind of like half-heartedly, to just Google the name one last time and make sure it wasn't a thing. It became a thing. That it was a night. thing. In Atlanta, thing. Georgia, apparently. Yep. It was a sketch group, and they were planning to release their first sketch the same day we were planning to release. Rude. And we brainstormed for like a couple hours. So many we failed ideas. Out. It's like a list of rejected Tumblr usernames. Yeah. And so randomly shipwrecked happened. It worked. Does it have to do with shipping people? Yes, because it ha that's part of why <coughs> Shane and I connected with the name so much. We were like, yeah, we like shipping. Sean was like, what's shipping? So yeah, that's the answer to your question, Clavissa. We hope you're doing well. Um, Scribbles and Jots asked, how do you flea market? I'm paraphrasing. How do you flea market? Where do you find and purchase costumes? And what's been our favorite find, prop, or costume so far for Kissing in the Rain? market. I do absolutely go in with a prioritized list of things that I'm looking for and budget that I'm willing to go into it for because otherwise you're just wandering, you take a left and suddenly you're in like the 1800s heaven and you just want to buy all the things and you're like, oh, but I want to buy the other thing and then you buy too many things and you no longer have cash and then you're like, uh, is this worth the ATM fee? So it's, yeah, you absolutely I don't go shopping with her. <laughs> in terms of where you might be able to purchase the costumes, the ones that weren't rented at the costume house, were purchased usually at a Goodwill. You'd be surprised how cheap you can find a 1950s wedding gown. One of the dresses Sinead wears is my mom's dress from the 80s, but we made it work for the 30s. What do you mean? So check your parents' closets. One of the dresses that Mary Kate wears is from Anthropology. One of her trench coats is from H&M. Another one of her trench coats is from a well, it's from Max Mara, but I bought it in China, so is it really? One of my favorite dresses I own. I got it at a department store in Scotland, so have fun trying to copy that. But my jacket was from Urban Outfitters, and my shoes were from Mod Cloth, which is where I like to go for my little cute things. What's been your favorite find, prop, or costume so far for Kissing in the Rain? So individually, I'm probably going to go with my little headpiece from the 1920s-ish one. I always have liked that look, and I feel silly doing it in everyday life, so it was like nice to have an excuse to actually wear my hair like that. Prop was probably a blue umbrella. We found it on the way out of the Pasadena Rose Bowl Flea, and it was a umbrella from the 30s. They were trying to sell it for $25, and I said, can I do 15? They were like, 20? And I was like, I only have $15 on me. So they were like, okay, and I was like, cooking. Favorite costumes, oof. I love all of the- we're not talking about the men's costumes at all, are we? I mean, they all are in their pants. Kind of like, mm -hmm. the shirt, the uh, yeah. You know, I think I liked Mary Kate's 1960s look a lot. Using my trench coat from Max Mara and a, her black dress. I don't know where she got it from. Possibly wet seal. Every single look, every single prop was a ton of fun just to find and also to do. We have fun. We have fun with our projects. So come, come have fun with us. Well, 
I guess that's everything. We're gonna go eat sushi and talk about chipwrecks and our future and lives and boys and sugar and tea. Bye! Bye!